Next up on the journey, and we're here, Okayama City. Okayama City is like a bridge between the east and west of Japan. A lot of the trains that aren't the Shinkansen will stop here for a change. What is there to do here? Well, well, there's a few things. Join me and find out. From this water soldier outside the station makes its own rainbow. It's very confined space. Absolutely awesome. It disappears very quickly. And once again, we must review our Okayama room. And I must say, this room was about £30 a night, which is kind of pricey, but I'm liking what I'm looking at so far. Got a mirror, why not? But the best thing that I'm seeing so far is look how big this desk is. This is actually the biggest desk I've seen in Japan. Um, so that's really nice. That'll be good to have that actual space to work on. Now, there is a fridge. I haven't seen if there's a Don Quixote here yet. We've got disposables. We've got quite a modern looking bedside. Two pillows, don't need to ask for another one. And towels. Now I am noticing no other amenities, no kettle or no anything like that. I wonder if they're rentable. But as far as the bathroom goes, looks more old fashioned. The bath looks about a reasonable size. That's a very fancy toilet roll dispenser. And that's a very old fashioned bidet, but at least it's a bidet. So now I've got a little bit of unpacking to do. And because I'm moving so much, I've basically got a system where I have stuff I need for today in my laptop. This is stuff that I might need on occasion, like my switch dock. And the suitcase has just got all the bulk, like extra clothes. I'll open one to take out the clothes I need and then that's it, we're done. Oh, and there's a TV, but I've never turned on a Japanese TV, so whatever. Oh, and the view. Pretty good. I lied, the kettle was well hidden, but it is there. Uh... Now there is one major activity to do in Okayama, and that is to visit the Okayama Kurakoen, which is the beautiful gardens just across that bridge, right by my hotel and the castle. But I decided to yeah, set that for another day. It's back home tomorrow, but it closes in an hour, so we're going to go here today. But instead, right next to it, is today's thing to see. And here we are. Oh, not there. Where is it even? Back here, isn't it? And there it is, shrouded behind those bushes. Okayama Castle is my destination for today. Well, comparing to yesterday's visit to Himeji, it's not quite as good. Castle still has its own charm. These fans definitely help with that. Found it amusing here, there's three different tiers of steps to choose from. Which do you wish to climb? No, I don't really have any other aim in mind today other than just find somewhere to eat and have a nice bath. So I thought, why not just have a walk along here for a while. The river looks lovely and there's a lot of cats. <laughs> Zenbu Neko. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So I've only just noticed, this is the first time in a while I've noticed, that I've actively thought, huh, there's no massive mountains in the background. I can actually just see the horizon in the distance with nothing blocking it. Well, other than a bridge. Like, there's some minor ones, but like, that doesn't really count. The one thing that Japan's actually quite famous for is that they have these very large outdoor malls that seem to just stretch forever. And I say they're outdoor, this one really isn't. A lot of them are. It's just rows and rows and rows of shopping forever. I think that's a lot less common to have in these. There's 
massive T-Rexes. As you can tell, it was about Christmas time and the lights, even in Nokoyama, were amazing. I really enjoyed walking past these. And then I found my dinner for the night. A lovely pizza place that I just managed to squeeze into my little bit of Japanese. Right, next to that pizza place is the objective. That pizza was actually the best pizza cut in Japan. It was so delicious. And right next to that place, and I wouldn't have found that place if it wasn't on my way. To Don Quixote, but not the test. So let's see if they pass. I'm always cool when there's an anime shop in the same place as Don Quixote. After a little exploring, seeing some beautiful lights, it was time for my deck stay in Okoyama, and it was raining. Day two, as I'm waiting at the traffic lights, treated for this helpful list of things. So do one thing at a time. Now, if you've been following my trip, you'll know it doesn't really rain in this time in Japan. It's rained about three days of my trip so far. So the day when I've come to see this park is raining. And hopefully that doesn't damper the experience. As soon as you walk in, you're struck with the beauty of these umbrellas just scattered around these fields. It gives them a lot more life than otherwise. As you explore, you re enter from all sorts of different angles in the central place. Now, these gardens are actually hundreds of years old and they were originally just for the lords, but they were opened up in the late 19th century. However, there was damages from floods in World War II, so they had to be rebuilt in the 20th century, but based on the old Edo drawings of the area, so it looks kind of as it would back in the day, other than, you know, drainage and toilets and all these kind of things, but this is a beautiful garden. It's got that kind of exploratory feeling where you can just see something in the distance and say, I want to go there, and I love that. I think one thing that stands out for this part more than most is we have this beautiful open area. It's also a lot open in this direction as well. There's some closed off parts, but thanks announcement. As I was saying, now it started to rain a lot. It's, this is such a nice wide open area. A nice little park of the small ones. This really kind of stands out. Other ones do have, this park still has it's in closer, which I'm going to now, but it makes it a very nice mix. One thing I didn't expect, though, very slightly sad, was the crane aviary. I've never seen a crane before, which is cool, but it's a very small place for them. I don't want to face upwards, which always makes me sad. And with that visit done, our time in Okoyama city is over, but our time in Okoyama prefecture is not, as we go on to our next destination. Although Kurashiki is the next video, so thanks for watching.